This is Code.org, and we are on to bonus levels, or challenges. Awesome. Keep in mind, there's more than one way to do these, so I'll walk through them somewhat, but think of creative and maybe even better ways we can accomplish these. All right, let's take a peek. Some bonus levels, or challenges. You can use this for loop to collect all the nectar. Unbelievable. Ooh, I like that. There are a few actions that you will want to try to repeat counter times. Oh my goodness. This is tricky. So there's a few actions. Look how they did this. I'm going to do what I often do, guys. Pull this over. Let's just throw some code blocks down and see what we get. Move forward. Oh, wait. We don't even want to do that yet, right? We want to turn but not left actually turn right and then what then we'll move forward right basics here yep and then what we're gonna get nectar they only want us to use that once that's a hint but for now we're just testing stuff out great thing about code all right now that we're at the bottom of this what do i gotta do well i gotta turn all the way back around so i don't know I, you could turn right you can turn left whatever you need but that should be do it there we are and now forward and that gets me out. All right, then what? Well, I need to face this way again. Right. Cool. Cool. So that's the first one. I am now going to get a bunch of code down here and I'll talk about it, but I want to get it down first. All right, look at all this code. It's terrifying. <laughs> but let's try. So here's the first one. Now I turn right, and hopefully, free nectar. Look, this one here. Great thing about debugging. Oh, I wanted two rights, though. Doesn't really matter. Could have been two lefts. All right, and that got us there. Cool. Now, let's look for what's going on. I'm going to grab it at the turn. Turn right, okay? That's where I turn around here, and this is where I'm done. So then I move forward to, and I start all over. Let's first look at what gets repeated and what does not. So these first two move forwards were to get me to my spot, right? I would need them at the end of this too. However, move, turn right, well, I only do that once. How many times do I move? Well, this one I only move once. This one I have to move three times. Then what? I get nectar once here because there's only one. I get nectar three times here because there's three. Then what? I go right twice, same thing here. Then what? I move how many times? One for the first one, but again, three as it gets longer. So the stuff that's varying, that's changing, is really prime spot to use a loop. So let's do that. I'm going to put this back and let's replace any repeated code with a loop. Repeat count times. Perfect. Now, how many times? I'm going to go here. Here is three move forwards. We don't want that. Chop chop okay now counter will have to be equal three for this to work but i know if we have repeated code it's an issue keep in mind guys we had three move forwards and three get nectars you cannot do move forward get nectar repeat three times because this would change the order we are now doing move forward get nectar move forward get nectar and that's not how this puzzle is there's not nectar 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 and we move forward and get it each time they were on top of each other because they were one after each other. So we'll move forward three times, which is great. Now what do we got to do? We got to get nectar three times. So under the first one, let's get the nectar. Then what? Turn right twice. We don't really need that in a loop. A loop counts as two blocks anyways. And turning right the same two times is two blocks. All right, turn right twice, move forward three times. That's another spot for a counter loop. And then turn right. Get rid of these. Okay, now with this, as long as we're using counter, we can have it be one, we can have it be three, we can have it be five. And that's what's going to get changed. So now we have that set to go. What we weren't changing here, right? What did we leave alone? We need to turn right down each time to get into these. So I'll have that above these because every time we turn right and go all the way down, then what? Well, at the end of each one, how many times do we move, right? When I turn right to get out of this thing, I'm facing this. 
I'll always have to move forward two more times. Okay. Now, with all that said, let's see if they... They're not gonna... Oh, interesting. They really don't want to... Okay. All right. With all that said, this should do it, right? We have this variable counter. Let's go ahead and pop this here. Let's put this here. And let's step through, because I need you to get this. I'm going to hit step. Counter is going to be equal to 1 right now. We're going to count up by 2. It's important. All right. So I turn right. It says repeat counter times once I move forward. I then, since I already moved forward once, I'm done with this repeat. I drop below and I get one nectar. Get how many times? Counter times. Counter is 1. One nectar. Turn right once. Turn right twice. You could have done left here. That would have been the same thing. To... And then I do what? Repeat one time. Move forward. Now what? I turn right. Then what? I move forward once. I move forward twice. I hit the bottom of our for loop. Counter was equal to one. One counting up by two. So now counter is three. Is three from one to seven? It is. So now I'll turn right again. Now counter is three. So what do I got to do? Move, do now? Repeat three times. Move forward. I bet I'll go all the way down here. One, two, three. Then what? Count three times. Get nectar. One, two, three. Then what? And now, since we're going up by two, it will all work. I wanted you to keep in mind, we're going up by two, and we're counting from one to seven. So all of this code is only going to run four times. But the counter variable won't be one to four. Awesome. Onward. One more. Ooh, stairs. It says we can use 29 blocks. That is terrifying. I'm going to throw a lot of code at this and then talk about it. Like always, I'm first going to just put blocks down and try. I'm giving this a shot. Okay, and I'm going to keep going. There's no way I can do this line by line, but it's giving me an idea of where to take this. What I am thinking right now, guys, is I'm looking for repeated actions. The honey throws a different element, but they're in a stair pattern. So I figure I could do those on their own in a loop. I'm looking for patterns. And then this is in an uh, awkward stair pattern, but a pattern. So I'm seeing about doing this first since we started closer to it. Now, what I'm going to work through now is I know that will get these. So what is being repeated? Where is there a pattern? Well, I moved forward, I got my nectar, and then I did this turn, forward, turn, think. Okay? So then, once again, I started moving forward. <clears throat> Granted, I did it twice, but then I got nectar, and then what did I do? I did my left turn, my forward, which changed, interesting, my right turn, and then I started moving forward to get nectar again. All right. So what is going to change? The amount of times we move forward here. The amount of times we move forward at the top. Loop. Repeat. Okay, so how many times do we move forward to start? That changed. I can see that now. What else changed? Okay, so the starting amount right here is 2. Then what did we do after we moved forward? We got nectar each time. So that changes 2, 3, 1 here. Okay, now what? Well, this is all the same. Turn, we always turn left. Now, this moving right here, we always turn left. We moved once, but here we moved twice. So again, I need to repeat. That's going to be some type of loop. Okay, we always turn right once. So that's fine. All right, now we got to fill in these blanks. And I bet it's going to be a for loop, but first, I'm going to do it with numbers. Oh, let's go away. Actually. Oh, they're going to make us use four. Okay, I was going to try to show you a variable. Let's do a counter. Drop. Drop. And then I'm going to use counter in all of these. Now, we just saw, I know to start, everything was one right? One nectar, one step, one step. Then what happens? Well, then everything is two, okay? 
So two steps, two nectars, then what happens? Well, then everything is three. So this starts at one, it goes to 10, which maybe we will need, I'm not sure yet, honestly. And we go up by one each time. So let's give that a try. Once we'll move forward. Once we'll get nectar. We turn left. Once we'll move forward. We turn right. We hit the top. Counter goes up by one. So counter is now two. We'll move forward once. And now again, counter times. We get how many nectar? Well, two, one, two. Then we go to left once. Counter times, we have to move forward two, one, two. And then what? We turn right. Counter was two, up by one is now three, so forward one, two, three, then what? Well, now we repeat three times nectar, one, two, three. We turn left, this isn't looking so bad. We move forward one, two, three. Now we turn right. And then we're gonna have an issue. So let's go ahead and do this. Count by one, but only go up to three. And that way, we stop up here. Cool. Now what? Well, now we're way up here, okay? So we're going to start a new thing. Now I need to turn all the way around. Once I'm all the way around, I'm going to need to what? Move forward. I'm just throwing go down. Turn left, it looks like, and it's a stair pattern. Move forward, then what? I'm going to go ahead and do the next turn, although I could get make honey right here. Once and twice. I can't even see all my stuff. I'm going to zoom out. There we are. Okay, so now I'm going to keep going. This stair pattern, move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right. Then what? Four nectar. Okay. So let's look for patterns because it keeps going like this. Well, I'm going to grab move forward. So this turn, turn right, turn right is to get us out of this thing. So starting at move forward right here, move forward, left, forward, right. It looks like that's going to be the same no matter what. And then what's the variable? Oh, I put get nectar. That's funny. This should all be get honey. Make honey, right? Because we're making honey now. But what's the only thing changing? Are they a different distance right now? They're not. They're not a different distance. Therefore, this is the variable, honey. How many times we do it? So we're going to use another for loop. So counter, we get to restart it. I'm going to start counter at 2 because it's here. And I'm going to go to... 10 and I'm going to count up by two, right? So, hey, computer, when you start this, counter is going to be equal to two. We're going to count up by two and we're stopping at 10. Now, what gets repeated, like we just said, loops, this does, this honey, everything else happens each time. And then what do we want to control it? Counter. Counter is going to be used to control this. Because counter will start at two here. We'll get make two honey. Then once the loop's over and we make two honey, goes back to the top. Two plus two is four. Make four. Down here, go back around, turn, la la la. Counter would now be six, so on and so forth. And we stop when counter's ten. Oh, I lost my two. What happened? Where'd they go? Victory. Tricky, tricky. Guys, make sure you understand that. Make sure you go back through. Make sure you get it. There's more than one way to do this, by the way. So you could turn left twice here, I believe. It. Some of these orders are different. There's not always just one answer to code. Onward.